name is Jess Lambert and this is for SDI to show me using some of the hand tools that we have received and we have read about and learned about throughout the last four weeks. So let's get started. Alright, let's see what we're going to be working on today. Um, it is Mimosa Nagant. Now bear with me. Um, this is a rifle that I purchased a few years back. With this rifle, I've kind of... When I first bought it, I didn't like it. It had a lot of recoil, and I felt it, and I have a really bad shoulder. So this gun kicked a little harder than what I would have liked. Throughout the years, I've found a few things. Um, I got a re rubber recoil butt pad for the rifle. Really helped it out. Put a muzzle brake on it. Definitely helped it out. Um, now, one issue I've ran into is a scope. I tried a sporter scope. Unfortunately, the one I bought was not working. It was a little bit defective. So, I bought this scope and a different mount for it. I like the setup better, but unfortunately, I, I feel I set it up wrong. The scope's a little too far back, and it's just because I wasn't putting my head up far enough. It's, that's not me, and I know that. So, what I want to do is, I want to redo this rifle completely. Make it what I feel it should be. Um, this gun's kind of been... Just throwing in the back of my closet for, or my gun safe for a while. It really doesn't come out that much, and I want to change that. I want this rifle to be something that I want to take out every time, and something I can show off. So, there's a few things I'm going to do to it. I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then we'll start disassembling. Alright, let's talk about what we're going to do to the rifle here. So, here's the rifle. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a fan of the way this is mounted. Um, I want to bring this forward just a little bit more. I'll adjust my head position. But what I'm going to do to it is I have an accurization kit for the most Nagant using shims and a cloth strap and all the history about the accurizing set and then I want to restain it use some gold leaf and I'm thinking a design kinda like this on the stock and maybe use some gold in here and a few other spots so that's the overall goal of the rifle set this stuff out of the way some of the tools that we're going to be using today we have our brass punches and our steel punches with those we do have our brass hammer with a little rubber mallet at the end or a hard plastic mallet and we have some of these screwdrivers Alright, so let's get started. First things first. Rifle is clear. No ammo in the firearm. I am actually going to take these off. down for a moment. I know it's not wise to have ammo on your bench while you're working, so I'm going to move these. Alright, so now the firearm is clear, and just for safety measures, release the magazine, nothing's in it. So we'll go ahead and take that off. And I am also going to remove this. Alright, so 
now we just have the rifle. I will go ahead and remove the bolt, which I am going to take this bolt apart and do a little polishing work and try to get rid of the sticky bolt. Alright, now let's all right. Try this again. Gonna take this in here. Loosen that up. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. All right. I have actually not taken this apart in a long time, so looks like I'm going to have to remove these to get the bands off. And my scope mount should be okay, so I should not have to remove that to get the stock out. Let's grab the right size Allen key here and let's get my bipod off. cleaning rod. Let's tie it in there. Alright, there's that and that. And we'll set that off to the side. Put these back in so I don't lose them. Looks like I need to clean it up. Oh, that's just oil. All right. Let's put these back. Let's go ahead and get these barrel bands off. Alright, there's the top part. Now to get into unscrewing some things. Alright, let's start with removing this. So we'll grab one of these screwdrivers right here. That's a nice solid fit. Oh, I do not tear up the screw heads. And this is actually the first time I've worked on this rifle with proper screwdrivers. So, if the screws look bad, I do apologize. I used to not have the right equipment. Alright, so I removed the top bolt here. I know there's one underneath, so let's go ahead and flip the rifle. Alright, we're going to grab our screwdriver again. Check for fitment. 
looks like that one's going to be just a hair too thick. So let's try this one here. That one fits perfectly. Alright, now we got our two screws out. Should be able to separate the two pieces now. Just like so. Alright, so now we're just left with just the stock. Now there's more that I want to do to the stock here. And set this off to the side now. All right. Now there's one more, two more pieces I need to do. So I am going to set this here like so, and I'm going to grab my screwdriver again. Oh, that one's going to be too thick. Let's go back to this one. Great fitment. So let's go ahead and take this off. Alright, so now we are down to just the stock of the rifle, which is where I want to be. This way I can sand this down, because I don't want to go with darker stain, I want to do some gold leaf work. Now I've already restained it once, this here is the original color, and this is the new color, I didn't deviate too much, but I want to make this a real nice dark wood, like so I want to do a cross about right here on it maybe do some gold in here I just want to give this rifle kind of a new life per se um, like I said just something that was in the back of my gun safe that I really didn't shoot and um, I have found a new love for this rifle so I want to you know like clean this up make it look better and just really make this a nice rifle I feel that the gun deserves it, so this will be the project that I work on over the next few days. And um, what I will probably do is record more and make a big video on this rifle just to show you know, my progress with it and um, maybe give a little tutorial for others to uh, try doing the same thing with their guns.